Hey friends, this is Bidhan. Welcome you to my channel. Today I take the problem of classical mechanics based on Lagrange's equation and using Lagrange's equation to find the solution of x. It's the problem of June 2013 part B. It says the Lagrangian of a particle of mass m moving in one dimension is given as this. Where L is the symbol for Lagrangian m is the mass of the particle x dot is the velocity b is a positive constant and x is the position or the coordinate of the particle. It says to find the coordinate of the particle x t at time t. And let me tell you one thing. You see a x here and this x is same as x t. Even if a t within a bracket here is missing. But this x is same as x t. We will find this x and that will be done. So if we find x only, we have found x t. Okay. Why do I say this? That this is also a function of time like this x t. Because this Lagrangian, the position, the particle is moving in one dimension. So the position of the particle must be different with respect to time. So it is time dependent. That is why I am saying this x is as x t. Therefore, the Lagrangian is also time dependent. Okay, so how to find this x? For this, we will use the Lagrange's equation. We will put the value of L inside the Lagrange's equation and then find the solution for x or the value for x. So let us try to do this. Before that, we see that x is same as x t here. The question asked us to find x t and that is same as x. We know dx by dt is the velocity and dv by dt derivative of velocity with respect to time is acceleration. Similarly, in classical mechanics dx by dt is given as x dot just the different notation but x dot is same as velocity and dx dot by dt is same as x double dot where this is same as acceleration. So we will be using these notations. Okay, then let us jump to Lagrange's equation. Lagrange's equation is del by del t into del L by del Q dot minus del L by del Q is equals to 0. Now we will change this equation as per our demand del by del T into del L by del X dot minus del L by del X is equals to 0 where this q dot is same as x dot and q is same as x since we have the Lagrangian in our problem and that Lagrangian contains x dot and x but not q dot and q that is why we have converted this q dot into x dot and q into x by otherwise this q dot is same as x dot and q is same as x so this is it now the next point is of putting the value of l so we have del by del t into del by del x dot the Lagrangian value is m by 2 x dot square minus b x minus del by del x dot the Lagrangian again zero then we have the constant from first term is m by 2 and derivative of x dot square by del x dot minus b and x both are constant with respect to x dot that is why both will come out of the derivative and we will be left with derivative of 1 that means we will be left with 1 with respect to x dot minus from the first term, the whole term is a constant 
the whole term is a constant with respect to x that is why the whole term has come out of the derivative and we are left with 1 so derivative 1 with respect to x minus and minus plus b is the constant derivative of x with respect to x is equals to 0 so del by del t into m by 2 into 2x dot minus 0 since derivative of constant term is 0 so the whole term is 0 minus 0 the whole term will be 0 since so derivative of 1 is 0 plus b into 1 is equals to 0 so del by del t into this 2 and 2 cut each other and this becomes m x dot plus b is equals to 0 m is a constant del x dot by del t plus b is equals to 0 now del x dot by del t can be written as x double dot plus b is equals to 0 dx dot by dt can be written as x double dot so we have x double dot is equals to minus b by m so we have got something that is x double dot but the question has asked us to find the value of x so what do we do so we use one trick we do the reverse of x double dot so x double dot could be written as dx dot by dt is equals to minus b by m then we could write dx dot is equals to minus b by m into dt then we could take the integrals in both sides isn't it integration taking integration on both sides we have integration of dx dot is equals to minus b by m and integration of dt so we have x dot is equals to minus b by m into t plus c1 is the constant of integration so we have found x dot if the question would have asked us to find the value of x dot then this is the answer but the question has asked us to find x so we are not done yet what we do next we again use the same trick to write the x dot as dx by dt we could write this as this because here you can see that x dot could be written as dx by dt so that this is what we have done is equals to minus b by m t plus c1 so next we could do dx is equals to minus b by m t dt plus c1 into dt now integrating again on both sides we have integration of dx minus b by m is obviously constant integration of t dt plus c1 is the constant integration of dt so we have here x is equals to minus b by m this integration gives us t square by 2 plus c1 into t now this is the new integration the constant of integration c2 and i have already told you that this x is same as xt so this is equals to minus b by let us say 2m t square plus c1 t plus c2 yes so we have found the value of xt right from using the lagrange's equation putting the value of l inside the lagrange's equation and then solving for x obviously in between we have used so much of integration and this matches with this matches with a so answer is a so answer is a
थैंक यू